Hello and welcome to Hemi Thoughts. Uh, so this is the time of the semester where we are suffering and crying in misery through finals weeks. It's not just one week, it's multiple weeks. So I don't, I think a better name is finals weeks. And my finals weeks, I actually have not taken any finals yet but I've had a really huge EX project that I've been working on. In fact, I actually stayed at the library for over, for over 12 hours straight. And I didn't come home until 5.30 in the morning today. And then after that, I slept for maybe four hours and then went back to the library by 10 a.m. by uh, uh, yeah basically 10 a.m. and it's insane it's ridiculous I did not think that I would have to do this this time and plus I know I'm just kind of ranting and complaining here but I want you guys to understand how much work these college students have to do especially me what I have to do so besides that huge eeks project which we finished Part mo uh, the part that's due uh, today at like tonight we finished that today. I also have to start eleven pages of anthroculture and film evaluation interpretation thingy. Jeez Louise, guys. Jeez Louise. And one of my papers is on a book that I have not read yet. This is gonna be. A long night. Another long night. I probably drank two Red Bulls within the span of half an hour last night, and uh, that totally helped, so maybe I'll do that again tonight. Uh, I'm probably just gonna go to the library tonight and uh, sleep there. Like, literally bring a blanket. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Besides that, you know, it's been alright. Uh it's the weekend tomorrow, so hopefully I can just crank out everything and start getting my life together once again. You know, it just never ends. The work just never ends. And even though EECS is probably my most challenging class, it is by far the most rewarding class. So next year, I'm going to take two EECS classes, 203 and 280, and let's see what happens. All right, let's see if I'm going to stick with this. Because at this point, even though it slaps me in the face sometimes and it says it hates me, I still love it back, you know? It's like one of those teenagers who, as a parent, you will love them always, no matter how much they hate you. But sometimes you just gotta stick it out, just wait. And then one day, you'll have a great paying job in CS and no life. I don't know. I don't even know what's gonna happen. Um... Well, but besides having a whole bunch of work to complain about for uh, the next couple weeks, I actually learned that I thrive on it. A lot of people, they are, they are itching to go home and celebrate winter break with no work to do. But in my case, I actually really need something to do at all times or else I get really sad. It's like the thing where I have to distract myself before I realize that life is just really hard and, and you know, kind of a little alone sometimes. So I need that work to kind of distract me. Of course, there are good times like eating lunch, hanging out with people, getting good grades. But uh, it's, a little, it's a little bit hard to imagine anything more than that. I mean, besides... Um, going to church every Sunday, I really don't have, I, I really forget to think about, like, God, and I really forget to keep him in mind in my life. Like, he's not really present in my life right now just because, like, I've been focusing all of my energy on bringing home a good GPA because my parents are paying my tuition and, you know, I can't really bear to just waste that, to just waste all their hard work that they're doing just so that I don't have loans at the end of, like, college. That's 
like one of the most generous things that I can think of to give to a child is education like that. And like, I don't know if that's my reason for working so hard to get this GPA or if I'm just striving for excellence. It's just one of those things that's probably a mix of the two. It's probably not either or, it's probably just both. But anyway, I just, it's just kind of like, kind of like, uh, so tired, so tired, anxious, but at the same time excited because it's almost over, at the same time excited because even though you do a lot of work, it's gratifying, you get a reward. Sometimes in life you just do a lot of work and just nothing comes out of it. But in this case, if you do a lot of work, you will get gratification. I don't have a guest again tonight because I don't have any friends who are willing to come up to my apartment to record Hemi Thoughts. But that's okay. That's fine. Alright, catch you guys later. And uh, yeah, this has been another episode of Hemi Thoughts.